Here's a little tip for you. Uh, it's probably common sense, you may already be doing this, but if you are going to do some sketching or painting plan air, and this might be in preparation for a painting you're going to do back in your studio, um, you might be thinking, oh God, I've got to take my paint box and a bottle of water and, and jam jars and all sorts of stuff. Um, there are a lot of travel kits now that you can use, obviously, but here's a little idea that just might make your life a little easier. And we all want that, don't we? So supposing you're going to the seaside, you're going to the beach, you're going to have sea, sand and other things, you probably know the sort of colours you are going to be needing. So maybe you've got your pen, your permanent pen so your water won't uh, wash it off and you're going to do, I don't know, a little bit of sketching. Maybe you've got, um, you're going to put a, a horizon in for your sea and um, you've got a sort of a fence coming down to the beach, maybe something like that bit of driftwood, that sort of stuff, Ooh, there we go, and a, maybe a, a boardwalk down over the sand, something like that, did it, there we go, I don't know, it doesn't matter really, but the idea is, my little friends, is to take some watercolour pencils with you instead of your paints, and what you can do, here's a nice blue for the sky with a few clouds and then take your watercolour brush, your water pen this is a Derwent one, Pentel make them, lots of people make them and then all you've got to do is manipulate your watercolour pencil with that, okay? and you can add more colours as you go along. You can work your pencil into the wet area. But this is just a little idea just to show you it could be quite handy for you. And then I'm coming to the sandy area here. It's just to give you a little idea maybe of the colours you're going to use. And then you've got a bit of, uh, what we've got here, let's have a bit of a different blue for some C. Oh, it's a nice blue, that's Thello blue. And it might just be enough to give you an idea Obviously I'm doing this very quickly for a demonstration, but just give you enough to go back and add more details. And of course you can always put little notes in, um, you know, uh, fence continues, curve, the boardwalk. And things like that. So you know what colours you're going to be using roughly so why not just take a selection of the colours you think you want and then it makes it a little bit easier for you when you're sitting possibly on a windblown beach and wondering what the weather's going to do. Okay so I hope that's a little, um, a little guideline for you, a little tip always useful um, but make your selection take it with you and there you go i hope that helps